Hi guys, good afternoon, good morning, and good evening to you, wherever you are watching us from right now. God bless you. You are welcome once again to our channel. And as you all know that this is a place that we give, usually give update of what is going on around us. Once again, you are welcome. And don't forget, if today is your first time of being on this channel, please kindly subscribe to our channel and make sure you on uh, your notification button so that anytime we drop a new video, you will be notified. And to our returning subscribers, thank you guys for being there with us. We appreciate you guys. We appreciate your your like for the likes on our video, for the comment, and for sharing our video. God bless you. Uh, you are welcome once again. Yes, as you all know that it's no more in news that uh, the founding of Light Church of uh, the late pastor, Pastor Daniel Taiwo Odukoya, is having a new general overseer. Now that is the new geo of the church. And uh, the new geo is the first son of the late pastor. And the new geo name is uh, Pastor Jimmy Odukoya. You know, since uh, the since the church announced the succession of this pastor Jimmy, a lot of controversies have been on the internet space about this particular uh, man of God. You know, he's a man of God anyway, he's a pastor, and also is that is an actor. So we we having two persons now. I am an actor and a pastor, and you know, a lot of us have begin to have question because most of all we don't usually know uh, or we don't know how pastor jimmy came to be you know but we know that he was announced as a pastor so we don't know how uh, his journey has been but in an interview that he granted bbc pg now in that interview he he, he shed a lot more light to his career how he began and uh, a lot of issues a controversial issue surrounding him, his person, and the ministry that he is entering into now fully. And now we will be bringing, we will be bringing to you some of these clips of what he said about how he started, because it's according to him, he said he has been ordained uh, about six, seven years, uh, ten years thereabout. That has been the time that he has been ordained. As a pastor in the same church with his father, another written issues about uh, him. So we are going to hear from him what he said about himself when he entered into the ministry and all his career and a lot of issues that we have been uh, longing to hear uh, since uh, the church announced him as the new general overseer of the church. Now, let us just sit by and begin to see those things that he said concerning himself and which I want you to sit by and please just hear him out and maybe after the video after the video we you might drop your comment and anytime you are doing that please let your comment be constructive because uh we we'll not uh, appreciate any derogative comment here because we believe that all of us we have our right to 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 defend Thank you, guys. Let us watch the video. I am the lead pastor of the Fountain of Life Church. Yes. I was ordained as a minister in 2009. Mm. So, no bit today. Then as I moved back, they ordained me for this church in Fountain as a pastor in 2012. So, in 2012, I was the lead pastor of the youth church, Church 316 till about 2020 or to 2020 or 2021. So for those who know, they know. If you don't know, no wala. <laughs> but I don't do this ministry as a licensed minister since 2009. Which means some of the challenges will be say you don't face so far. Things where I don't see for life, nothing to shake me again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you get. Because when you don't see plenty of things for this, this is my short time. I don't experience plenty of things for my life. When you don't lose your papa, I you don't use your mama. I did like this. I don't get papa, I don't get mama again. No. Mm. <laughs> I'll show you get uh, two of the closest people, yeah. you know, to me. I don't lose my mama, I don't lose my papa, I don't lose my auntie, I don't lose my grandma, I don't lose my grandpa, the only grandpa and grandma where I know. I don't lose plenty of people for my life. So when the thing where 
you fear the most don't happen. It's in day again now. Over the years, you know, when that kind of thing happened for family like that, everybody, by force, you will just become close because as you don't lose one member, you realize, say, man, this life, not, <laughs> nothing is sure. <laughs> you know that kind of thing? So all of a sudden, you know, you just become close like that. So I think through it all, even with when my father, as he remarried, say, okay, let's move on with life. And then that one too, she died. The constant in all of it, now my papa, at mm. least, because my papa was a strong man. Now man, he be. It's not anything that you see coming, you know? It wasn't like, you know, we knew that, okay, Popsy will die soon, or mm. everybody prepare, you know, that kind of thing. And if you ask me, I could tell you, say, Popsy, it would have been alive 80, 90, Popsy go day, because full of life, energy. When man, they preach, they walk up mm. and down, they run, you know? You know, so, me, yeah, I just recently say, how more, till he's 90. <laughs> yes, guys, let us hear what he said about his long hair. You know, the person that interviewed him asked a question that there are some issues online about uh, the people uh, trying to uh, criticizing about the long hair because uh, a pastor should be a symbol, a good symbol and a good image for his member to follow. So let us hear mm. what Pastor Jimmy had to say about his long hair and also about the uh, combination of his career as, a, as, a, as an actor and now as a, as a pastor. How is he going to manage the two challenges together? So let us hear from Pastor Jimmy what he has to say about that too. God call me as I am, as I did. Now God call me. In this season of my life, this, this new position is a big responsibility. Mm. So all of my focus right now is here. Now as for my dreads, you know, <laughs> um, that matter long because people don't know, see everything that they do. I feel back I'm up with scripture. Everything I do, mm. a Bible. If you tell me, oh, I have a problem. Maybe you look Bible now. Say, okay, you want to tell me, say, ah, long hair is wrong. Check Bible. I say, ah, but you say God tells something, making no cutting hair now. Now Bible now. Mm. God tells something, making no cutting hair now. Okay. So that means hair. Long hair is not a bad thing. Oh, ah, say, Pastor, you get beard. Oh, you get uh, but now so Bible talk say that Jesus, when they, they, they torture him, they, they, they pull his hair from his face. If you don't get beard, which, which hair did they pull? Oh, now, now fresh skin. You see, you understand? Oh, the pastor, you know, ah, the pastor, they, they wear a ring. I say, ah, no problem. I go to the book of, is it, uh, is it Exodus? When the children of Israel, I say, they come out from Egypt. They won't do golden calf. Aaron go collect, he say, all you people bring your jewelry. They collected rings and earrings from their sons and their daughters of Israel. God's people. So anything where people ask me, see, everybody can do whatever they want to do. Personal opinion different from say saying a sin. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. If you like long hair, no problem. If you like short hair, but if you tell me, say, because you get short hair, and if you get long hair because long hair not seen, my brother, that's where we don't agree. Now when we say you don't move into ministry, how you want to take handle this? Uh, the career, the acting, and the ministry. Uh, share your acting career, you go day on hold. At the time where I, I start the act, people tell me, say, I don't know if you do this, both of them. They tell me, say, I know. I don't feel the pastor, the actor, say, church no go accept me. Mm. The world no go accept me. So church go push me. They say, this one way they acting. The world say, ah, this one will be the pastor. We don't want you. But if God sends you somewhere, now him go clear the path for you. Mm. You understand what they talk? So when I started the acting, people told me it was not possible. But see what in God do. I carry I was there for six years. In six years in the industry that's very hard to break into. 
God helped me, not only in Hollywood, but from here, they can't find me, carry me go Hollywood. So, waiting God don't show me, be say, with him, nothing is impossible. You know that kind of thing. Anything for happen. So as God don't ask me, say, oh yeah, come and do this one. How I will manage him, whether in a production or whether in a EP or whether in a behind the scenes, or maybe in front of this. Now God go figure him out. But for now, as I did like this, my responsibility, especially say, because Popsy don't go, the church had a face. But you no know me say, <laughs> I know he acts. Mm. <laughs> What's an actor is an actor. Mm. The question I ask myself, they say, what do people come, what, what do people want to learn from this world where they play this character? Mm. Because the the idea people always think say because I be pastor, the only good role I supposed to play. Mm. But good and bad exist, Abby. The more you see bad, the more you appreciate good. good. <laughs> so, <laughs> so mm. if we are telling a story. Mm. And everybody, all of us, that good person. Where do we want to learn from the story? If I feel play character, we will show you say bad, bad. And the more bad you are, <laughs> the more trouble they for you. Now lesson we they learn, a life lesson. Okay. Nollywood started because we they teach people moral lessons. Say if you go left, for most Nollywood movie, you know say anywhere where they do bad, in the front they go catch their own. We just just they wait say how God could catch this person mm. because we they teach them say. Good is good, bad is bad. Then they always talk, say, on easy lies the head that wears the crown. Uh, how you they ready for this tax to lead the church? For this kind of journey of life, especially for this position, that God will they hold. You know, um, you know, they rely on our strength. So, say, there's no amount of preparation or experience where you get. So, you feel, say, okay, for this kind of work, now always God will they hold. <laughs> Always. <laughs> no matter how prepared you think so you did all day. Mm. My brother, my God. So this kind of work will force you to be humble. Mm. You know, this position will force you to be humble. Every day with the old God say, God, I beg, help me. <laughs> no people by my power, by my might. You know? Mm. They this kind of the realm, all these people wait day here, you know. Cause make I not disappoint you, make I not disappoint mm. them, make I Always speak what you want to make I speak. You know that kind of thing. Yeah. I don't often talk of myself, say, that's why I, I don't want to do one. No, God, how you direct? How you lead? Oh. What do you want to make I say? You know? Constantly, you must stay connected. Mm-hmm. So, my preparation is prepare to hope. Yes, my people, we have heard from Pastor Jimmy Odu Koya. And I, I know that at this present time, we need to keep on praying for him and uh, for this new challenge as a pastor. And also you know that now he's having a, a lot of responsibility upon him and upon the entire fold of uh, Fountain of Light Church. So what if we have heard what, all what he said and we believe that the Holy Spirit is there to direct him and to tell him a lot of things that we will not be able to tell him. And uh, we want to pray for him that God Almighty will be with him and the church of God, and we pray that at the church, uh, that fountain of light church, we remain and we work stronger and stronger and their light will continue to shine and the glory of God will cover the church. So guys, uh, you can also drop your comment about this video. Thank you for watching us and please drop a constructive um, comment because a derivative comment will not be appreciated on this channel thank you guys you're welcome we'll see you in the next video